Uh, but you know, let's talk about the testosterone experiment. So um, you know, that's uh, quite high for natural testosterone. So how did you do it, and uh, you know, what were the things that you maybe experienced as well? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I did devise like a, a full protocol. I, I outlined it um, in, in some detail in my um, in my testosterone course. But essentially, what I did was um, I focused on lowering prolactin, increasing um, monounsaturated fat intake and saturated fat. So both those types of fats. I was shifting my um, protein sources primarily to organ meats. So eating liver, kidneys, chicken hearts, things like that, rich in zinc, CoQ10, selenium, all these vital nutrients, heaps of cholesterol. I mean, um, so I was focusing on, you know, high cholesterol diet alongside like five grams of taurine every day, mm. plus like vitamin B1. I was using a couple of herbs like cystanch, um, I was using a, a, a couple of, I mean, there was one pharmacological intervention that I guess it's not really directly shown to increase testosterone, but it's um, ciproheptadine. So that sort of helped with lowering serotonin. So um, yeah, really focusing on optimizing and driving up dopamine and, and lowering serotonin, I think really helped. Mm, okay. Uh, so w- what do you think about this, um, you know, this trend that over the past few decades, this uh, testosterone level, average testosterone levels have been declining because of maybe like xenoestrogens and, you know, bad lifestyle and plastics and chemicals in our environment. Yeah, I mean, there's some crazy stats going around now. I mean, they say that like in 33 years or so from now, all men in the Western world will be infertile, which is pretty scary stats. I mean, you've seen you've seen the diagrams, the graphs yourself, the trending decline is so severe. Mm. Um and I think you definitely hit the nail on the head. There's, you know, EMF exposure, plastics, microplastics, um, nutrient deficiencies, poor sleep, obesity, insulin resistance, lack of exercise. There's so many factors, you know, playing a role in the decline in both fertility and testosterone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of kind of funny, funny thing that, um, like, physically, uh, you know, um, men uh, are, let's say, more resilient, uh, but at the same time, like their sperm is also very fragile or very vulnerable to uh, very like, you know, these small things like EMF or, I don't know, the, uh, the xenoestrogens and you know, plastics and things like that. <laughs> yeah, it is funny like that. And I like to look at, I like to look at um, testosterone as like the resilience, the resilience hormone, because it does help a man sort of become more robust and withstand stress because there was one particular study that looked at how testosterone can um, help uh, increase a man's willingness to withstand adversity. So how long a man could withstand severe adversity and struggle it was the higher the testosterone, the longer they could last in like struggling sort of thing. Right. Right. Yeah. And uh, what, what's your like testosterone now? Like, uh, have you changed anything? <laughs> um, I mean, I know it was a while ago when I got my test done. I'd hope to see it a little bit higher by now. Um, I mean, I've been experimenting with some things that may help increase it further, but um, I think, yeah, definitely environmental things affect that. At the time that I did the test, my sleep was excellent. I was sleeping like eight hours a night straight. Um, I was definitely in a caloric surplus, mm-hmm. whereas right now I wouldn't. I, I don't know if I would be in a caloric surplus i'm i'm doing the one thing that's changed is that i'm doing twenty thousand steps a day so i'm i'm not sure what sort of impact that's going to have on uh, my hormone status okay gotcha uh but what 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 are maybe like uh, some of the best like exercises or you know exercise is important for testosterone but there's also like the aspect of chronic uh, overtraining and uh yeah not having enough time for recovery so uh, you know what would be like a good uh, b- way to balance uh, those things and optimizing it yeah, well, from, from the exercise perspective, um, leading up to that blood test, I was doing two leg sessions per week. And those leg sessions were very heavy, like six to eight reps, roughly. Um, and then, you know, followed by, I did two sprint sessions per week as well. I'm convinced that sprinting has some phenomenal effect on um, testosterone. I've seen evidence that shows that it increases DHT um, significantly. Um, but in terms of like, there was absolutely no uh, long duration cardio, mm. nothing beyond 20 minutes. That's been shown to have a neg- deleterious effect on testosterone. So yeah, avoiding avoiding the the, the, the long the low in- the list low intensity steady state. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, and you know what I also like to do is that um, 
focusing more on this very low intensity, like you know, walking is actually a very low effort way of uh, getting your steps in and getting cardio without uh, you know, yeah, starting to in interfere with uh, like muscle growth and without uh, interfering with uh, these hormones and things like that. So it's a very uh, yeah, like a better way of unless you are you know trying to <laughs> deliberately increase your endurance or something then yeah like a minimal effective dose or minimal effort is a kind of a better way to go about it yeah it was it was tricky because i was trying to balance like i mean i was trying to really optimize for testosterone but at the same time i was trying to like maintain aerobic capacity and like it's you know you're trying to optimize for so many different goals but in the end i think um the combination of icing certain exercises certain sleep protocols a couple of herbs supplements i think that all and then obviously really healthy thyroid function. My um mm. my T3, my T3 levels are like basically like bordering on hyperthyroid. So I think that definitely having a better metabolic rate is definitely gonna help as well.